Hey, welcome to another video. In this week's video, we're going to be doing a product review. And unfortunately, it's not on any of the super cool toys behind me. But it is definitely something useful in an emergency situation, whether you're a layperson, just a civilian, or a professional EMT, paramedic, nurse, whatever. Uh, it's a stethoscope. And this is my first one that actually comes with software. I was like, whoa. Uh, but I was working on the ambulance and my partner, who is a brand new paramedic, uh, cards are still wet, uh, he had one of these. I was like, hey, can I try that? Took me a second to figure out how to turn it on, but it was awesome. I could hear really good out of it. So I bought one and I wanted to share it with you guys. So this is a Lipman Cardiac 4 stethoscope with this little attachment right here, which makes a big difference. They call it the core stethoscope. And you can download an app for it, which was a big deal for me. I was thinking about because I am an EMT instructor, I can record some really cool lung sounds, play it for my students, let them hear what actual lung sounds sound like. That's pretty cool. You can also use your earbuds, put those in, and as I'm teaching the students to check blood pressures, I'm like, hey, that's what you're listening for right there. So it's a little bit easier to walk students through listening to lung sounds, heart tones, and taking blood pressures if I can use an app and it's Bluetooth. Let's talk about the basics of a stethoscope real quick. We have the earplugs. These go in the ear. They face forward. Okay, some people will put them backwards and they face backwards. Your ear canals do not go that way. They face forward. When you put them in, they should be comfortable, okay? And actually, I'm pretty blocked out from outdoor noises just the way this sits without using the amplifier, which we'll talk about in a second. So we have Earplugs, they go down to two. Some stethoscopes only have one side. If it, yours has one side, no big deal. Uh, some of them have the other side. So this is a diaphragm, this is a bell. Two different sides, two, two different things. This is a low frequency and the bell is a high frequency. Typically we use these for lung sounds, things like that. If it's gonna be a higher frequency, we can switch over to the bell. So basic stethoscope 101. All right, take a deep breath. Okay. Take a deep breath. 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 Deep breath. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Awesome. Here's the difference. So this is a Cardiac 4, which is a great stethoscope in itself. Uh, tumor diaphragm, I can hear really well with it, just the way it is. However, has a little extra feature here. We turn it on, and now you can see that we are flashing. So that is the amplifiers. So kind of like our hearing protection that we wear at the range, if you wear electronic hearing protection, how it muffles outside noises like extra gunfire, boom, it goes hearing protection but we don't have to yell at each other to talk if we're wearing electronic hearing protection when we shoot. It's kind of the same thing with this. There's a lot of noises going on. People are yelling, people are screaming, people are crying, and our, it's just a diesel truck going down the road. Uh, our ambulances don't ride the best. Yours probably ride like Cadillacs, ours don't. Uh, but hearing in the back of the truck can be difficult, whether I'm listening to rails, wheezing, crackles, or if it's a trauma patient, I need to hear good lung sounds, maybe decreased lung sounds, and I gotta make a decision whether I'm gonna put a needle in someone's chest, that's a big deal. So I need to be able to hear very clearly. So I can put the stethoscope on, turn the amplifier on, and boom, all out in the side noises are gone. Listen to lung sounds. And that's all I hear is my lung sounds. So that is really cool to me. The other part of this package is I can download the Echo app here. I can record sounds, whether I'm listening to heart tones, bowel sounds, lung sounds, whatever. I can save them, okay, for future reference, listen to those, there's no patient information there, so I can do that. Also, if I wanted to send it to my med control, like, man, I really heard this weird heart murmur, what do you think about it? Boop, email, or a text message, boom, send it to it. Hey doc, this is the lung sounds, these sounded really cool today. 
I can send them or I can send them to one of the students going, hey, you had a question about wheezing. What does that sound like? Here it is, bloop, and they can play it. So that is a really cool feature. as well so hit record it's going to record for a few seconds talking one two three I can put this to my chest there we go boom, 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 boom. okay it's going to save it now i can select a position on what i was listening to whether it be heart lung sounds or bowel sounds i can select that position there if i'd like to it's updating that whether the patient was standing, sitting, or supine. And then I can assign it to a patient if I need to. Put in the information if I would like to do that. If not, I can come out of it and hit done. Then once I want to take a look at the patient, maybe I want to re-listen to it again. Boom, all my recordings are there. Definitely a really cool feature. If you're a civilian, average Joe, I would not buy this, okay? It's really expensive, and for what you're going to use it for limited times, I would not purchase this. If you're in the professional world, you're an EMT, paramedic, nursing student, paramedic student, I would definitely look at this. I think if this is an investment, I would hold on to my life because these tend to walk off on the ambulances, so I would hold on to it, put it around your neck, put a leash to it, whatever you need to do. Uh, you can engrave it if you want to, but still, those tend to walk off on the ambulance, but be super cautious about that. If you're in the professional setting, I definitely would recommend this one. So thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember, you need the right gear and the right training.